Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I just got ready and I'm heading downstairs because I have a very ambitious plan. Oh, it's very warm and sunny today. I still haven't put out my furniture on the balcony, which I'm planning to do at some point because evenings now are really cool and nice. Today's video is going to be you will not believe it it's finally happening i was thinking about it since the moment i arrived here and i just never got to it it's going to be my walking closet organization decluttering clean out organizing whatever word comes to your mind you name it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it if you already know me well by now you know that this is the time where i would usually say but first coffee but not this time. No, no, no. If you watched the previous videos of mine, you know that for the last 10 weeks I have been on super, super strict diet uh, due to my health condition in order to reduce inflammation in my body, which is supposed to help with recovery. I was so good with eliminating all types of food, like I'm not even gonna go there. This is time for a separate video. But I was still a bit naughty when it comes to still maintaining the habit of having coffee every single morning. And this is time to let this habit go. And instead of having morning coffee twice a day as I used to do, I decided I will replace that with something that is good for my body, nutritious, well balanced and actually all around beneficial. As you see here, I already prepared my green juice. What I've been drinking every single day for the last couple of days is this green superfood blend by the brand Timmy. This is something that is right up my alley. First of all, let me tell you, it's 100% plant-based, vegan, GMO-free, gluten-free, dairy-free and soy-free. And as you know me, all those ingredients are big no-no for me, so I'm happy it doesn't contain any of this. On top of that, it's made of 16 superfoods. Let me name uh, just a few, which was spirulina, wheatgrass, spinach, broccoli, kale, kelp, rocket, parsley, celery, matcha, acai, this goes on and on and on. I'm not gonna read the whole description in here. If you are interested, you can go to a website and have a look. It just takes care of your daily green goodness portion. If you're not really good with sneaking vegetables in your diet, this is a great way to sneak veggies and greens in your diet smoothly. Now let me tell you the best part. I have a very generous discount code for you guys. It's 25% off. You just have to use my code, which is GRIEF25, GRIEF with double F, like my last name. I will have it linked down below so you can click the link. And if you are interested in order this um, green goodness, just click the link below to obtain 25% of a discount. Okay, let's let's get to work. I'm gonna drink it while I'm working, and let's get this walk-in closet finally looking like a closet calls, presentable, decent, and all around acceptable. Let's do this. Uh, before we start, I just want to show you the current situation OOTD-wise. This is the look that I already filmed and I'm going to post on my Instagram 30 days of outfits challenge. So yeah, have a look there if you want to see the full look without any waist situation. It's just like loose and buggy, which is good for heat days. But this gives a little bit more definition, shape and angles we want angles and we are moving on to the subject of today's video as you can see my walking closet is a kind of mess right now it needs to be organized because it's everything is just so randomly i'm just showing you how it's look like you don't even want to see the drawers right now here is just like a random composure of some <laughs> accidental stuff i have some uh skiing gear here randomly and here i have some <laughs> winter things still this is without any coherence and there is no method behind how things are some random shoes in here a bit of mess in there so yeah even my jewelry box is randomly here i have to find 
a proper place for it but as you can see it's just kind of mess right now some of the handbags are here some of them are still upstairs in the filming room and also i have a lot more in my house in uk but of course i didn't bring um, them all this is actually really good because if i brought all my stuff at once in here this little room would not be able to fit it it's been a long time believe me for the last five years i live abroad i keep coming back as often as i can to poland because i love being in poland obviously but i divide my life in the last couple of years in three different countries on two continents so that's crazy and this space didn't get as much attention as it deserves so now it's about to change and i will turn it into more acceptable appearance let's do it i obviously started with what is the easy part of all that which is organizing handbags that's my favorite part of my walk-in closet what am i going to do next first is i'm going to rearrange all the boxes here and put it here First of all, it makes a really nice display and some people say, why do you keep boxes, throw them away, just a box, no point to keep it. Well, let me tell you, it is a huge point to keep it because if, if you are thinking of reselling your designer goods, especially like Chanel or Dior, resale value increases tad bit if you have original box, receipt, authenticity card, uh, dust bag, a bag that it, the box was put in, the ribbons, <laughs> all that jazz. So what I do, I usually keep it in case I ever I ever want to resell it. That adds such a nice touch to it. I'm gonna take care of this first. The top row, there's also one more row above that, which now you can't see, but it's full of some um, travel bags right now and other boxes that I really don't need. There is a huge section right here as well full of boxes that only God knows what's there nowadays. I'm gonna keep this section right here, which is like from here to here, for my super long dresses only. In here, I'm gonna keep shorter mid-range summer dresses. And this section right here will be for my jackets, blazers, blouses, tops, like fancier, dressier tops, shorts and some skirts. This area right here, it's full of shoes. This I'm pointing down here, you can't see right now. This is a sea of shoes. Majority of them are tucked in in the boxes in the lower row in here, which now I'm not showing because it's messy. Let's do this. Let's do this. Drunk. I've never seen you clearer than now. We're flying high, floating somewhere up in the clouds. We're going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real. Cause when we're doing our thing, we're the wheels that won't stop turning. So take me on a trip, 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 now. Trip, trip, trip. Oh, I flick the switch, kill the lights. Oh, I wasted City lights are shining so bright All these empty faces We don't care about them tonight We're going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing with the wheels Don't stop turning I know we're acting stupid Okay, I'm done more or less. It went quite fast. It was not as bad as I was afraid it's gonna be. 
it went uh, fast, quick and efficient. Let me just tell you before I will take you through each section, those things, those shelves, not much has changed in here because what I keep here is like jeans, as you can see, some knitted skirts and dresses that are heavy and can't be really hanged and of course my knits, some of them, those look quite empty because, you know, warm knitted stuff are where they belong to, which is in UK where I live. But this is like Polish Abu Dhabi kind of uh, clothing wardrobe that I have here. So more like summery, spring, autumn type of vibe. Yeah, so these are here. I also have like, for example, this one. I have a couple more here, but I'm not gonna pull all of them. This one is from Miss Sony. I got it in Abu Dhabi as well. I don't know if you ever saw that on my channel. It has like the split all the way to your belly button and at their back. Can you see that? Does it show? It's so cool, so dressy, fancy, elegant. The only issue I have with that, that it's like summery cut. It reveals quite a lot front and back, but it's made of very heavy wool, so can't be really hang. And just because it's like heavy wool, it gets quite hot in the summer. That's that. Now let me get a camera to show you each section. Let's start in here. If you remember there was some random winter stuff in here before and I turned it into short dresses section. I also did organize them by colors. As you can see I starting with whites, some beige, going through blues and pinks, blush pink, some gold, oopsie, I dropped something, some gold sequins going into reds and purples and some mixed patterns and dark. Having everything organized not only by category but also by colors like that makes it super easy to dress up in the morning because everything is just on a display, visible and sorted perfectly. Moving on, in here it's like uh, mostly dressier blouses category but I also have a couple of skirts hanging here and shorts here all like white blush pink pinkish type of dressier blouses as you can see and some bodysuits moving to some patterns and then some pop of colors from pink to red and some <laughs> random blue in here one um, knit hanging here and some jacket for warmer days because I didn't want to hang it with blazers but yeah this is really good way of displaying all your nice blouses because they don't get wrinkled all the t-shirts and some different type of blouses I can fold in here and I keep it here like summer stuff in there some shorts in there some pants long pants and because um, I'm not really wearing trousers too often so I keep it here and there are more knitted dresses, knits in here as I already did show, my favorite sections which are handbags obviously, a couple of pair of jeans in here, some shoes organized by colors, obviously you can see what I like to wear the most, so starting from here I have all my nude heels, and here I have my flat shoes, two pair of sneakers, the rest I have in UK, espadrilles, some funny slippers, I love this one the most, those are great from Zara, they go with everything, some more heels in the back, more heels, this is one of my favorite pairs, these dress up every outfit, like whatever you wear, if you add these shoes, it's like Cinderella shoes, it turns every outfit into a princess outfit. And then some black heels in the back. This section right here I designated for my super long dresses. It's not that narrow as it looks like, it goes all the way there to the back. So here I have my abaya and some long dressier trousers and all the super long dresses as you can see that they go all the way to the floor. I have checkered red, I have some hearts, I have florals <laughs> and then I have more florals and then I have super long ones, some jumpsuits and then it goes darker and darker florals and monochromatic and then it also 
goes into midi dresses as well as I have quite a lot midi dresses which are not short to fit in that section but they're also not too long to be in here so I kept them in the back but they're all like past knee I love this type of shape like past knee dresses they look super classy and super elegant and makes you look like a lady moving on I sort of kind of not really organize this space I put my jewelry box in here and some of my perfumes are here the rest is in UK here I have all my lingerie like knickers bras tights and stockings sleepwear and laundry I mean lacy fancy things and here I have my working out outfit workout outfits yeah that's how it's called and last but not least this section right here where I have all my blazers they are also organized by color starting from beige going through yellows this is the most versatile one that I have and I love it some peach and pink and some patterns dark even camo here i also have my sort of pride and joy which is a cup from graduating my master degree i have master degree in finance which i did long time ago <laughs> so that is it that is how it looks like so far and hopefully you did enjoy my closet tour and you did enjoy me taking you along with me on some organizing trip i'm pretty glad with the result uh, hopefully it will inspire you to organize your closet and get rid of some stuff that you don't need and sometimes it's also about how you keep things if things are displayed properly you will tend to reach out for them more often and make more wear and use out of them it will never make you think like oh i have nothing to wear if you have things properly displayed and you can see them you'll always find something to wear once you invest in them things that serves your body type look and which are timeless as well hopefully you did like it let me know down in the comments if you are planning to go through any organizing face in your place please subscribe if you haven't done that yet it really helps my channel and it just inspires me to shoot and film more videos for you guys and that helps our community grow and you we can exchange thoughts and stay close and all the good stuff thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next one bye oh my god i feel so accomplished we're flying high floating somewhere up in the clutch Going out of ourselves, can you feel it? Almost like I don't know if it's real Cause when we're doing our thing, we're the wheels that won't stop turning So take me on a trip, 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 nah, trip, trip